How do you recognize the voice of God in your life? Do you know the difference between God's voice and the voice of the devil? The best way to recognize God's voice is to spend time reading the Bible. Not just to read His Word, but spend time praying to God's Word. When you understand God's Word, it will prepare you to discern between the voice of God and the voice of Satan. How do you know when the prompting is from God and when it's Satan whispering his lies? Satan will always attack your character and God will only attack your sin and offer you his forgiveness. When the Holy Spirit is at work in our lives, he will speak to us. He will guide us in our day-to-day -day activities. Scriptures make it clear that Satan has the capacity to influence our inner conversations. These voices of the enemy can be very subtle in the way they come to us. He can even present himself as a godly presence, disguise his lies as the voice of truth. As believers of Jesus Christ, learning to sort out the voice of the enemy from the voice of God is critical to our spiritual well-being. When Satan speaks into our thoughts, he has only one purpose, to do us harm. Whether through discouragement, temptation, frustration, through depression or despair, his goal is always to separate us from God, to cripple our spiritual life and prevent us from obeying and serving our Lord. Jesus said in John 10 verse 27, My sheep listen to my voice, I know them, and they follow me. So when the voice of Satan says to you, you don't matter, you are a mistake. Remember God says in Psalm 139 verse 13 through 16, For you formed my inward parts, you needed me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you, when I was being made in secret intricately woven in the depth of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. When the voice of Satan says to you, you are weak, God says in Philippians 4 verse 13, you are strong, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And in 1 John 4 verse 4, the Bible tells us, Greater is he that is in me, than he who is in the world. When the voice of Satan said to you, God hates you. God says in Romans 5 verse 8 through 9, I love you. But God demonstrated his own love towards us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than, having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. When the voice of Satan says, God will never forget the bad things you have done. God says in Psalm 103, verse 11 through 12, For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. When the voice of Satan says, God will pay you back for your bad choices, God says in Psalm 103 verse 10 to 12, God does not deal with us according to our past sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. When the voice of Satan says, you have no future, you will fail. God says in Jeremiah 29 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for peace and plenty and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Jesus declared in Matthew 11 verse 15, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. So without spiritual ears, it is going to be challenging to have spiritual understanding of God's words. Without spiritual ears, His words are simply words. Tonight, we are going to pray for God to open our spiritual ears so we can know His voice and for Him to know us and for us to follow Him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your word says, where two or more gather there, you will be in the midst of us, and anything we agreed upon is touching, you will surely do. Lord, I praise you as my shepherd, for you are the one who speaks, so that I may hear your voice and follow you where you lead. 
Lord, I thank you for telling us the truth about yourselves and also about ourselves. Lord, I confess any lack of desire or any personal failure in hearing your voice. Help me to have ears to hear what your spirit is speaking to me today. Lord, give me a listening ear to hear your voice and discern your voice from the many voices that are speaking. Lord, open my heart to your impressions and please help me close my ears to the whispering of the devil. Lord, today I stand as an intercessor for those who are not listening to your word or your spirit and are straying from the truth. Lord Jesus, I come before you today because I want to hear your voice. I want you to always speak to me, just like you speak to the prophets of the old, the same way your people, your sons and daughters of Zion, who have rejected the world to follow you. I pray that you will speak to me clearly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I unlock every one of my spiritual sense organs right now in the name of Jesus Christ. My spiritual eyes are open. My spiritual ears are open in the name of Jesus. I pray that your spirit will come upon me the spirit that will quicken my mortal body, your spirit that you will have promised in the book of Acts. I pray that you will descend upon me right now in Jesus' mighty name. Lord Jesus, I pray you open my ears so when you speak to me, so I can clearly understand you. Give me the grace for me to identify your voice. I pray in the name of Jesus for the grace to know when you speak, the power to understand what you say, I pray that you will give it to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I come against every power of sin in my life. Every sin that will stop my spiritual connectivity to you. Every sin that will stop me from hearing your voice clearly. I pray that you will take it away in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I want you to speak to me concerning my life, my destiny, my purpose, Lord. Speak to me in the name of Jesus. I come against every power and principalities around me that want to stop me from hearing from you. Every environmental power, I destroy them by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Father, in Psalm 62 11, scripture says, God has spoken once, twice I have heard this, that power belongs to God. I pray that by your power, you will destroy every power and hindrance that is stopping me from hearing your voice clearly in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I want you to pour your spirit upon me, your spirit that will give me the mental and spiritual alertness. I pray that you give it to me in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, unlike my spiritual ears today in the name of Jesus, from now on, I shall not be confused when God speaks to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your voice speak deliverance into my life in the name of Jesus. Father, let your voice of fire break every chain and barriers in my life in the name of Jesus. Family foundational voice speaking against my rising up be silent forever in Jesus' mighty name. Voice of God, swallow up my problem in Jesus' name. Almighty God, hear my cry tonight in the name of Jesus. Voice of God, locate every darkness and they shall give way for me to shine in the name of Jesus. My Father, do not allow the gate of mercy to shut against me in the name of Jesus. Father, by your mercy, do not reject my sacrifice of giving and serving you in the name of Jesus. God of Elijah, let your voice speak to my situation today in the name of Jesus. Father, let your voice put an end to every affliction in my life in the name of Jesus. Father, speak to my business to flourish in the name of Jesus. Father, every voice of enchantment that wants to make me run mad, let the voice of the Lord destroy them in the name of Jesus. Father, give me a personal Pentecost. Give me fire to fight in the name of Jesus. My stolen oil, hear the voice of the Lord. Gather back to my head in the name of Jesus Christ. You evil hand pointed at my destiny. Wither and die in the name of Jesus. My life, hear the voice of the Lord. And from now, become a terror to the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus. Error of shame, programmed for me, backfire in the name of Jesus. Voice of God, silence every strange battle in my life. Voice of God, silence every voice speaking against my rising up in the name of Jesus. Voice of God, speak peace into every area of my life now in Jesus' mighty name. Dear Heavenly Father, here I am today in your presence. Fill me with your spirit and transform me. Give me the gift of hearing and obeying your voice. Let me be in tune with your Holy Spirit that I may hear your calling. 
Let me not hesitate or be afraid. For when the Lord speaks, His will must be done. Let me listen and trust your voice. Teach me to depend completely on you. Let me present myself as a living sacrifice to Almighty God. All for the honor and glory of the kings of kings. Please accept my prayer today, loving God. In the mighty name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.